Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with Robbie here in our poster series, I'm gonna show you how to add a tattoo to his arm. It's similar to the fatigues I applied to Robbie's pants and it only takes a few steps. I asked Robbie what he thought his character would have and he said something military-esque. So I asked Mr. Kazama what the name of the military unit was in his movie and he said Phoenix Legion. So I looked up military Phoenix tattoo and this is what I found. So it may or may not be what they're looking for, but the point of this video is to show you how to do it. So here we go. First thing I want you to do is grab the magic wand and click around the area. Then right click, select select inverse, and then right click again and select layer via cut. And then turn off the background. And now we've got a nicely isolated image. And then we're gonna go back to our Robbie smart object. We're going to grab one of our layers, Command or Control J, that duplicates it. Get rid of the mask, press OK, and then grab the pen tool, zoom into his arm, and mask his arm. Okay, now that we're done our mask, right click on it and select Create Vector Mask. That isolates this part of it, as you can see right here on the layer. Now, we're going to move our tattoo design into our smart object. Go ahead and zoom out. M rename the layer Tattoo. Go ahead and move it all the way to the top of our layers panel just so it can stand out completely. Now we're going to transform it. So press and hold Command or Control and press T. And we're gonna rotate it generally to where we want it. As soon as it cooperates. Press and hold Shift to make it smaller without losing any proportions. A little bit more. Right about there should be just fine. And press enter. Now the trick to making this conform to his arm in the best way possible is warping. So we press and hold command or control and press T again. We right click and we press warp. And we use these little tools to warp the image. It gives it depth and it adds a good effect. As you can see, it's starting to add real dimension to it. So I'm pretty happy with that. But we're not obviously not done with the tattoo. The next thing we do to really make it integrate is we go to our blend modes in our layers panel and we change it to multiply. And you can tell that it almost immediately fits in almost perfectly. It's pretty awesome. Let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. That's a little bit too much, obviously, so let's bring it down to 80%. That fits in a little better. Now, you can tell, very vaguely, but you can still tell, that the tattoo is running off onto his shirt. Now, obviously, his shirt is not tattooed. So the way to handle that is Command and Control click on the arm layer. It says Robbie Copy 2. I apologize for that. I should have renamed it. In fact, I'll do that right now arm. There we go. Now, command and control click, regular click on the tattoo, and click add layer mask. Bam! It is almost perfectly in there now. Now the next step is to grab the blur tool and blur out some of the tattoo to give it a little bit of a fading effect. Just do a once over, strength at 50%. That's really all you need. And I'm going to experiment with the opacity just a little bit. 75% seems perfect. Now, once again, I want to transform this a little bit so it conforms to the bottom of his arm right here. Command and Control T, right click, warp, and just get it a little bit more down on below his arm. And there we go. That's pretty much perfect. 
Now, Command or Control S to save it, and we'll take a look at it on our poster. And there it is. It fits in pretty well. Hopefully the guys like it, but if they don't and they want something else, I can change it to anything I want because it is a separate layer that I can bring in and take out at any time. Now for the next video, you can see that the gun itself is a little plastic looking. That's because it is a plastic gun. I'm going to show you a couple of easy steps to make it look a little aged and more metallic.